Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands. And this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is an energy of somebody who is really, I'm seeing you've been on a long journey here. There is a sense of someone who is very exhausted, feeling quite drained, and um, really having had to push through a lot of obstacles in the situation. Um, but there is a sense of, um, you know, still standing. You're still standing. You're this wounded warrior. You've really overcome a lot. And um, there is a sense that this is that final um, straw. This is, you know, you're feeling very close to achieving your goal, needing to really push through this one hurdle. Um, I also do see this as somebody who is wanting to really um, defend themselves, put up some boundaries to protect their energy as well. Because with this energy, it's almost like you've really been through a lot. You've come a long way, but there's it's been such a struggle and it's been quite draining. So there is a need to put up boundaries. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this cancer. Okay, so the first card we have is the Emperor and this is Aries energy. Next, we have the Empress, Venus energy, Libra Taurus energy, and finally, we have the Judgment card, Scorpio energy, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay, so we do have um, a two counterparts, a true pair with the Emperor and the Empress. Um, I do see this um, having had been quite a tough journey to go on, but there's almost the sense of seeing this person as worth it because you, you recognize that this is your counterpart. You recognize that this is your person and vice versa. Um, there's been some outside obstacles, difficulties, but I do see you guys powering through and um, coming out victorious in the situation. There is success here. Um, what's really great about this union is that there is mutual affection, there is mutual love. Both people here are invested in each other. Both people here want love with each other. So this is really helping the situation. Um, and even though there are some obstacles to be overcome, I do see you guys, um, you know, getting through it together. With the Judgment card, there, that is a breakthrough. So I do see things are about to get easier here, but it's like after having really faced quite a lot, um, there is a sense of finally reaching some point of understanding as to why you had to go through what you went through. Also, getting to know yourself deeper as well. This is definitely one of those um, kind of connections that really teach us more about ourselves. There is a lot of personal growth and even transformation with that um, judgment card there. Um, this person definitely is a growth-oriented person that you are dealing with and they do see you as someone that they want to grow with they want to expand with they want to create with um, they may view you as someone that um they would like to be in a connection with in the sense that they want to uh, birth something with you. Um, this this is somebody who really sees you as, um, you know, very much high value, somebody who is deserving of the best treatment. And um, this is someone who values you, respects you, and thinks very highly of you, and they want to treat you as such. Um, this is someone who also holds themselves in high regard, and they see you as their equal. So I do see them very much viewing this as a potentially quite a power couple. This is a dynamic that really has the potential to um to to really um go along go, go a long way be a long-term connection and also to build something uh, a legacy with this energy okay so um let's clarify these cards cancer
Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. Okay, so again, this is somebody who you have a future with. I do see this is a very um, specific connection. It's very fated, and with the judgment, I'm seeing this connection is really transforming. Um, with this energy, I do see the person you're connecting with is also quite serious about you. They do want to make plans for the future. This is somebody who, who thinks about you and um, you, the future you guys have together. Um, this is someone who sees you as a long-term partner and um, I do see them really wanting to um, you know make further plans for this connection so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this cancer okay so the first card we have is the two of pentacles earth energy next we have the strength card leo energy you could be dealing with leo and finally we have the knight of swords air energy Okay, so this is a connection where definitely you guys have overcome a lot, but I'm seeing that it's it's proving to be resilient. Um, this is a connection that is not easily broken. Um, there is a sense that you guys are overcoming some sort of hardships together. And this is someone who their soul recognizes your soul. There is this energy of feeling like um, you guys are meant to be together. You guys can really face any obstacle together. And there is this sense of this person feeling like you give them strength, this connection connection gives them strength. Something about this connection makes them feel more confident, more capable. And um, I do see, you know, with this two of pentacles, this is again, really recognizing that there has been some challenges, there has been some obstacles, but that um, they want to get into balance with you. And they also feel like you guys can achieve this balance. So definitely this person wants to um, overcome these obstacles together. And um, with the Knight of Swords, I do see forward movement for this connection. Things are about to start moving very quickly in this situation um, this person you're dealing with is very determined there is a sense that this is someone who's not going anywhere this is someone who you cannot shake this is someone who is they're firmly planted here and um, whether through thick and thin this this is someone who has your back they are in this connection they're not leaving um, I do see them very determined about this connection very drawn to you um, very attracted to you as well and um, Definitely, I do see them wanting to establish some sort of stability in this connection with you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Cancer. Okay, so the card says, nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. Okay, so definitely these obstacles that you guys have had to overcome, these difficulties, these are not permanent. There is a sense that this is a connection. I do see the connection itself is very resilient, but the obstacles, you guys are, are coming out of that. You guys are overcoming that. This is this last um, step. And with the Knight of Swords, I do see fast forward movements after this it, the, the things are changing for this connection and they're becoming easier okay so i do see mountains are being moved here there is a sense that um you know these difficulties have not been are not permanent okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you cancer Okay, so the card says soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, so this person definitely does recognize you as a soulmate. There is a sense of them feeling their soul recognizes yours. This person does feel like you are their counterpart. And this is definitely somebody who you your, your energies really complement each other. You guys can really weather the storms together. So I do see you connecting with a soulmate here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Cancer. So the card says, sweet P, blissful pleasure, follow your bliss and the universe will open doors where there were only walls. 
Okay, so definitely there is a sense of sticking through um, together and really following love, sticking towards love and having these obstacles be removed. Um, this is happening and naturally. Um, I do see this person is a source of joy for you and vice versa. This, this energy of you guys really being very compatible emotionally and also spiritually um, there is a lot of um, love and emotion and even unconditional love here and with the judgment card this is again a life-changing connection this is i'm seeing a soulmate connection here okay so things are really being easy uh, becoming easier here and with this um, energy doors that were closed are being opened now is what i'm seeing so there is definitely uh forward movement from here okay so that's what i'm seeing for you cancer i hope you have a really really good day cancer bye cancer